Good morning from Cusco Airport. We are waiting for our flight, which is one hour delayed. We're flying to Lima today. We are very excited about that. Uh, and yes, the flight is one hour delayed because they need to change a wheel. Very trustworthy. Very trustworthy. <laughs> So goodbye Cusco, you have been amazing, <laughs> phenomenal, no really, it's really really a beautiful city and if you have time enough, just stay as long as you can. We spent here uh, around a week, ten days. 10 days even, and from the 10 days we did excursions to the Sacred Valley and to the, all these Inca temples, just beautiful. And also the village just has so much to offer, so much food options, so much museums, so much to explore, churches, sightseeing, etc. So it was really a pleasure and lucky us we could stay so long. everyone this is our home for the next two weeks this is our kitchen there's the other gentleman already preparing a nice. little snack and this is quite nice actually because we have a little desk here and look the first thing what we are doing when we are arriving we're uploading videos because we haven't been able to do this and the internet for more than a, a week Crazy, no internet in Cusco. It's already 3% more uploaded than in Cusco from 71 to 74, so it will be uploaded tonight. Yeah! So, yeah, so this is the kitchen. We have a washing machine, we have a huge fridge. It's really nice. The only thing is a little bit, the lamps are a little bit bright, but <laughs> it doesn't around. matter. We have a very nice design desk here to eat, dining area, the breakfast area with some Peruvian wine that Aurelio, the host, left us. Very nice. Very nice gesture. A little lounge area and we have a balcony. And we always also, not always, but also have a nice bedroom. I'm closing the doors. We have a TV and we have a huge bed. And this is something which is not always the case in the Airbnbs because we've encountered places where we have like a 1 meter 40 bed. 20. Trampoline. Trampoline bed. So this one is really nice. And this is our bathroom. Also very nice. With a bath. Huge mirror. Very nice. Lima is supposed to be the culinary capital of South America. And also, Peruvian coffee is completely underrated and here we're going to discover it and we're going to inform you what are the best places in Lima to have coffee. But before we do that, we have to do food shopping. So let's go food shopping. So groceries are done, now it's time to explore the city a little bit. There's supposed to be a little walk you can do according to the guidebook on your own. Let's do that. But before, let's have the coffee. And we are super lucky, it's a beautiful day, the sun is shining. Look. And just across the street we spotted this very lovely little coffee place. And it says passion. Passion Passion for el Café Peru. So let's have a coffee. So a local speciality is also cake with coca. And coca is extracted from the coca plant. So this makes you maybe a little bit awake. So Uber will bring us to the next destination. So this ride with the Uber driver will take us actually from Miraflores to the city center of Lima. And the ride is going to be a half an hour, 32 minutes. And it will cost us 12 soles which is 4 euros. Uh, 
And guess who we found here? San Martin. He's also in Peru, not only in Argentina. And below, supposed to be his mother. And on the head... That's not his mother. Madre. Yeah, that's the mother of the nation of Peru. Aha, okay. Well, that's not San Martin's mother. Another mother then. <laughs> it's the mother of the nation. And the Spanish people is wanted to have a fire crown on top of her, which is called Yama. But Yama has two meanings. Yama, the llama, the animal, and fire in Spanish. So they put a llama on top accidentally. This church is the Iglesia de la Merced, where the first mass in Lima was held. Obviously built by the Spanish. So here you can see chicken roasted over real charcoal fire and the Peruvians really, next to Chiviche, they really like this and they have so big groceries which are also restaurants, they are big like department stores and they are serving nothing else than this chicken with french fries like you can see here actually on the plate this is the presidential palace, the government office as well. And you can see these soldiers that are standing there in the sun and taking care of this building, protecting it. And they get changed once a day at noon with some very fancy music. And this is the Plaza de Armas. You can see the Archbishop's house, the cathedral, of Lima, where Pizarro actually founded the first church in Lima, and the rest of the Plaza de Armas. Quite a nice square, although surrounded by cars. So this huge cathedral of Lima has been rebuilt at least four times due to various earthquakes and additions, so there's nothing much left of the original but it's quite impressive still. And they are actually renovating it at the moment. So next to the coffin you can see a, a tin box exposed, which they found when they were renovating a crypt. And on top of the tin box it says in this box is the skull of Pizarro and they sent it to the US and they made research and they said okay it's true and then what they did is they put the skull together with the skeleton in the coffin and that's where it's now exposed. So that's where Pizarro is? Now he's reunited. Reunited. Fantastic. He was 169 to 1 meter 72 approximately. And here's the picture of the skull of Pizarro, very interesting. After visiting the Cathedral de Lima, we are just next to it in the house of the bishop. And it's a very small, humble little house. And in the entrance hall, there's actually a little fountain with many can piss from Brussels. <laughs> It's not little, but that's a chapel. Also very humble. So we have found this little bar restaurant which is called Cordano which is in the city center it's crazy <laughs> and Great. I think the time has stand still here from you can, 1912 from 1912 nothing has changed the buffet the interior the chairs everything is still 
since it used to be even the coffee machine which is built in to the counter. And this is the area where they make the sandwiches, fresh. So this might be even my sandwich because I ordered a ham and cheese sandwich. So this is a real ham. And look at this beautiful coffee machine. All the desserts, or what's left from it, flan and lemon pie. And then when you're done with eating, you go to the cashier and you pay this gentleman. So I have almost finished my sandwich and Marty just got his little portion of spaghetti with fresh roasted chicken. Italian, uh, Italian Chinese fusion food. So here's a central market from Peru where you can buy fish and chicken and vegetables. And on the other side there are all little restaurants in these booths. And at the end of the street is Chinatown. That's where we will go now next. And welcome to Chinatown. Here in this little hut you can get to know your future if you're interested in it. Or just buy a, a happiness cookie. So these are all people here on the floor which have been married or in love and each stone is one couple. exciting and interesting first draw through Lima which is a very beautiful city actually and the people are so polite and so friendly and when you stand on the street and you look on your phone and they come to you and say are you lost do you need help where do you want to go super super friendly people so this was another episode of the way we saw it thank you very much for watching this first day in Lima uh, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so. You just can press on the I below in the, in the right bottom corner. And we are really excited to, to your comments. Leave your comments below. And see you soon in the next vlog, of course, also from Lima with more insights from Lima and sights from Lima. Bye bye, safe travels wherever you are.